it has been two years with this laptop, which means that the warranty is officially over. Speaking of warranty, I've claimed the warranty of this laptop three times. You heard that right, three times. What's up people, my name is Pio, and if you noticed, I cut my hair, quarantine things. Okay, so the first time that I claimed the warranty on this laptop is because of power limit throttling. More details on that video, you can click on the i button or link below. The second time was because of my touchpad that peeled off and the white spots in my screen, which is apparently caused by the pressure the keyboard gives to the screen. This can be solved by using this, this sheet that came with your laptop. Just put it between your laptop and you're good to go. Or if you don't have it anymore, you can just use your paper and put it between the keyboard and the screen. I think this is caused because of my laptop getting squished between books and other stuff, even though my bag has a separate laptop compartment. So this means this laptop is not so durable. I mean, it's the stuff. It should be durable, shouldn't it? The third and final time is because the back cover of my LCD broke. For no good reason, I just opened my laptop and it suddenly broke. So Asus stuff, durable. Asus stuff should be durable, shouldn't it? But anyways, Asus replaced it because I still have the warranty. So thank you Asus. Next up, battery. It was horrible. Was. It was only lasting for around two hours on light usage with battery saver on and 30% brightness. But suddenly after doing a clean install on the windows, 20% lasted for 1.5 hours, which is great. That means like five to six hours because you don't ever want to get your laptop to 0%. By the way, if you're doing high performance tasks like Premiere, Photoshop, or any other applications, Expect 1 to 1.5 hours. But that's pretty good for a power hungry gaming laptop that only has a 48 watt hour battery. Moving on to performance. Out of the box, this single channel 8DX of RAM really limits the performance of this laptop. In my type of work at least, which is Premiere, Photoshop, Lightroom, and other softwares. So I upgraded it. More details about the upgrade and the performance gain out there. Or you can click down below in the description. And I also replaced the hard drive with a SATA SSD because a hard drive is just too slow for Lightroom or Premiere. With those upgraded, I have absolutely zero complaints about the performance of this laptop. It's good. By the way, I also replaced the thermal paste and regained the performance I used to have on this laptop. More on that on this video up there or down there in the description. Let's talk about the things I like about this laptop. First off, the keyboard. The keyboard layout is good. There's no weird placement of keys. It's just like a desktop keyboard. And it's also comfortable to type on. I can type pretty fast on this thing. I really like it. And I also like the fact that it has a numpad because I use numpads a lot in Photoshop, Premiere, and other applications. And the left part of the keyboard where your left hand sits most of the time, it's not hot, even at full load. So that's good. I also really love the touchpad because it doesn't have dedicated buttons down there. You can press anywhere you want to because I just hate having to go down there and click those buttons. But that's a personal preference. And the display, it's a matte display, which means there's not much reflections or glare. Very, very comfortable to look at, especially if you compare it to a non-matte display and if you use it outdoors with sunlight. And finally, something you might not notice, the anti-dust cooling. It actually works. Compared to my old laptop, which only has one fan, this laptop has less dust than that. This means that you don't have to clean your laptop frequently and it's pretty dust free. So that's good. All right, that's it for my two year review on this laptop. It has definitely served me well over the years. And I hope it continues to serve me for the next years. And I hope it doesn't break because I don't have any more warranty. All right, if you find this video helpful, Leave a like, share it to your friends, and get subscribed to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye!